What's up guys, Overdog here. In this video, we're gonna be doing testnet activities on Tyco. As usual, all links gonna be in description, but follow them at your own risk. Tyco is a ZK rollup L2 on top of Ethereum. Currently, team raised 22 million in funding rounds and recently launched the Alpha Testnet 3. So in terms of development, the project is very, very early, obviously and not much to do on chain, but we're gonna explore what's available. One of the key differences of Tyco is that it's using the Cipolle Ethereum chain instead of the Girly. So first of all, we need to add Cipolle to a MetaMask if you don't have it still, uh, and add Tyco. For that, the easiest way is to go to chain list. Be sure to click include testnets. Then if you search Cipolle, you can add this one. If that doesn't work for you for some reason, you can manually import the chain uh, using this configuration. And same actually goes for Tyco. First try to get the Tyco from chain list. Also one thing when you're searching Tyco here, make sure to import alpha three testnet. So you just import that and you should have Cipolle and Alpha 3 in your MetaMask. Obviously, since we're using Cipolle and not Girly, we need Cipolle ETH. And here I want to touch on one point that I think also very important. If you plan to do L2 test nets in the next like year or so, start acquiring Cipolle ETH. Because currently, yes, very few applications using Cipolle. Everybody uses Girly, but that's going to change, I believe, in the next year or so and since currently Cipolle is not in huge demand you can start acquiring that in decent quantities like for example the alchemy faucet which is probably the most uh, often used for Cipolle it gives you 0.5 Cipolle ETH per day in Fura that also gives 0.5 I believe but there are some issues with Fura now so that may not work right away and also one of the best faucets not just for Cipolle but in general it's inside the Coinbase wallet. The one drawback of it is that in order to use it, you need to have 0.002 ETH in your wallet on the Ethereum mainnet. This is kind of a bot and Sybil protection. And once you have that, you can request testnet tokens on multiple chains uh, on the daily basis right inside your wallet. So as you can see, all of these chains, I cannot request now because I just requested two hours ago, but in general, it gives you 0.5 Cipolia, 0.1 Girly, 0.1 Base Girly, 0.25, I believe, BNB, 0.05 Optimistic Girly, 1 Phantom, 0.25 Avax, and 0.1 Mumbai. So awesome BNB value compared to native faucet, and a lot of ETH. So in total for ETH, you get in 0.5 on Cipolia and 0.25 on Girly, considering that you can uh, transfer from one chain to another later. And regarding other faucets, I will link this page from the Tyco guide. They link in pretty much all currently available Cipolia faucets. But in general here, my message is very simple. Start acquiring Cipolla today, so later on you don't run around like a headless chicken looking for a little bit of testnet tokens. But going back to Tyco, for doing the activities, 0.5 Cipolla should be enough, but I would use more personally. So first we're going to the bridge, we connect in the wallet. And also Tyco has two native tokens, that's horse and bull, and they exist on both Cipolla and Tyco. So we're gonna go to Fawcett and we need to switch to Cipolle. First of all, we're gonna be on Cipolle, we're gonna request some testnet tokens. Click here, you can see bull and you can see horse. We're gonna mint. And here I suggest always using aggressive gas, so our transactions will be faster. Okay, that was pretty fast, now let's request horse token. Okay, we got tokens, but obviously we don't see them in MetaMask. We need to import them manually. For this, we're gonna go to contract addresses page. And here we can see these tokens uh, in Cipolia, their addresses in Cipolia, and also their addresses in Tyco. So first, we're gonna import Cipolia versions. Make sure your MetaMask is on Cipolia here. 
placing the contract address. It identifies as a BLL. You can see the balance. And also same for the horse token. Import. I don't know what is this token, test Tyco token. Uh, I'm not gonna import it now. Maybe we're gonna use it later, we'll see. And now let's right away import the Tyco versions of these tokens. For this, we need to switch MetaMask to Tyco. BLL, great. And horse now. Okay, we're done with that. Now going back to the bridge. First, we need to bridge some ETH. Make sure you are on Cipolle here, as we need to bridge from Cipolle to Tyco. Okay, I'm gonna bridge three ETH here. There is a setting for the processing fee here. As you can see, the recommended value here is two zeros and 13. I would actually recommend doing something like this. You can play with it and get the feeling of at which gas your transactions coming through with the speed you like. So when you do bridging here, you can see your transactions here. There is a claim button and you can see the description next to it. This is going to be either automatically claimed with time or you can try to claim it manually. Okay, so for the first transaction, it took like two minutes to be claimed. And again, I think in most part, it depends on the processing fee. And uh, now we need to bridge other tokens. And if we go back to the guide, it says that BLL token is expected to fail with about 50% probability. So if it fails, you have to redo it. This is intentional for testing purposes. So first of all, I'm gonna bridge horse. We need to approve first. I need to fix my pop-ups like yesterday. In general, if you're short on Cipolia ETH, you can try to do it with the recommended gas. I'm not sure how fast this is gonna go though. Now I'm actually not gonna press claim and we'll see what happens. For now, let's just uh, try to bridge the BLL, see if that fails on the first attempt. I actually wonder why it fails on Cipolla end on it or on the Tyco end. And what's actually going to happen with the assets when it fails on Tyco? Mm -hmm. It's here. Okay, it took around two minutes and these were automatically claimed. And now let's check them in the wallet. Tyco, assets, yeah, all bridged. Okay, now there is one non-native bridge that's supposed to be functioning. That's a pheasant network. Let's actually check this out too. I know it's usually limited to 0.1 ETH per transaction. We can select Tyco here. I'll put one to see if it will allow me now, still 0.1, okay. I just wanna see if that's actually functioning. Okay, Cipolla complete in like 20 seconds. Now let's see how fast it will arrive to Tyco. And while we're waiting its arrival to Tyco, let's actually go back to the bridge. And now we're going to bridge back from Tyco to Cipolla all the tokens. Connect the wallet again. This time be sure that you are on the Tyco. And first I'm going to bridge back some horse and bull. I will also do the processing fee the same as I did on the opposite direction. Okay, approving is a bit slower than on Cipolle. Let's see for the bridge how fast it's gonna go. 
Yeah, it's taking some time on Taiko's side. It's around like one minute, but that's okay. Now let's bridge BLL back. Same process. I'm gonna use the custom again, since it's working well. As you can see, our Pheasant transaction just arrived, so it was also like three minutes or something. So if the native bridge for some reason don't work and you need to bridge a little bit of Cipolla to Taiko, you can use Pheasant. And by the way, on the ecosystem page, they also have the Orbiter, but it was for the Alpha Testnet 2. And now, since they moved from Girly to Cipolia, I wasn't able to find this direction on Orbiter. I don't think it's available yet. Okay, this was completed, and now the only thing is left. Move some ETH back. I'm gonna do point 0.2. You can also speed up transactions, obviously, but it's already not too slow, so I don't think it's necessary. But it looks to be a bit faster, maybe like 20, 30 seconds faster. I think it's mostly dependent on network conditions. Okay, now if we go to transactions, you should see all transactions here. Three from Cipolia to Taiko and three from Taiko to Cipolia. Next, we're gonna go to the native swap application. As far as I understand, this is just a broadly used fork of the Uniswap. Choose least, Tyco testnet tokens. Okay. Okay, let's try to swap something. I'm just gonna do some TTK or a little bit of that. And then we're gonna provide liquidity for this pair and withdraw liquidity. Okay, this has been confirmed. Now we should see the balance of TTKO. And now let's provide liquidity. I mean, this is super basic stuff, obviously. You can play around more with this application, but in general, I don't think this is necessary. Okay, it's been approved. Now we can supply. Confirm and supply. And now MetaMask works. Yeah, it looks like it was something on my side. And also, I will add test Tyco token to MetaMask on Tyco. Okay, so transactions were completed here. We provided liquidity and we're done with on that front. Next, we're going to deploy a standard smart contract on chain. You can follow actually their own guide on Tyco. But if you've done this before with the remix, the process is going to be exactly the same can just follow this link. So here, if you don't have the workspace, you need to create one. There is a button on the top left. If you're already in the workspace, you should have the template contracts. As you can see, we created one. And now here in the contracts, you can see storage.sol, owner.sol, and ballot.sol. You can just click uh, storage. And here we need to compile this one. For that, you can either press Ctrl S if you're on Windows. I don't remember uh, the combination on Mac. But you can just click on Solidity Compiler here. Select the compiler. I suggest the latest one. If that doesn't work, move a step below to 8.19. Click Compile Storage.sol. There you go. Then we we'll click here on Deploy and Run. Here we need to select Injected Provider MetaMask. Also make sure that you are on Tyco. Check in MetaMask that you are on Tyco. You don't need to change the rest of the settings. We just click Deploy. Confirm it on the MetaMask. And wait for the green check mark on the bottom. This will mean that Transaction is completed and our smart contract is deployed on chain. There you go. As you can see, we have the confirmation and we're done with that too. And I almost forgot one thing that we need to also verify this contract on chain. So this is your transaction contract deployment. I click it in MetaMask and click view on block explorer. And here you need to click here where it says contract and then contract address. It will take you to this page. Then we'll click code. And there is a button verify and publish. 
you don't need to change settings here. We click next and then verify and publish. So this compiler version does not match. That's odd. Okay, let's try to deploy another one with a different with a different compiler. I'll go with 819. Compiling. Then we're gonna deploy. Confirm. Okay, now let's see if that's gonna work. Contract deployment. You on block explorer. Okay, it's here. Clicking on the contract. Code. Verify and publish. Next. Compiler, be sure to select 819. Let's try. Nice, that worked. Yeah, so if you wanna verify, there is something wrong with last compiler version. They don't match, but 819 works fine. Now let's go to one more application that's supposed to be working currently. That's NFTs to me. If you did the Linea NFT week, we already interacted with that one. We need to connect the wallet here. Sign the message. And be sure that you are on the Tyco Alpha 3 testnet here. Initially, you're gonna see mainnet, click here on testnet and that's gonna be Alpha, Alpha 3 Tyco. And let's do some transactions on this one. At least let's try. Okay, let's try to create collection. Minting fee. Can we set zero? Deploy. Options here pretty much doesn't matter. As long as we have transactions for deploying collection and then for minting. This looks to be functional though. Nice. I really don't remember what to do next. I remember we set permissions here, we minted. Oh yeah, it's in min settings. Choose a phase, public open, update phase, confirming. Okay, it looks to be completed. No, yeah, now it's completed. Okay, now we should be able to go to minting page and mint some. Right. I'll just go ahead and mint five. Okay, successfully minted five NFTs. So it's done. Yeah, looks to be completed. So I think this is like the bare minimum here to do and NFTs to me. You can obviously do more types of transactions. On how to do them, refer to Linear Week 3. We've done pretty much all the functionality of this app. I will uh, link it with a timestamp so it's easier to navigate. Okay, next we need to do the free mint on mirror.xyz of this article, the alpha 3 testnet. We need to go to the bottom of the page, click mint. The mint itself is on optimism. Just confirm. Okay, successfully minted. Then regarding the feedback, obviously join the Discord, but actually for providing the feedback, there is a link in this article, this form. So there are a lot of questions here about your experience. Be sure to spend a little bit of time and provide the proper feedback here. That's gonna be it for this video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.